Hey guys, so today's video is going to be a part two in my declutter series. Well, I don't know if I have officially started a declutter series, but in a recent video, I went through all of my tinted moisturizers, CC creams, BB creams, concealers, and primers. And I also went through all of my powders and setting sprays when I recorded that video, but the video was way too long. It was gonna end up being an hour long, so I cut out my setting sprays and my powders. But you guys told me you still wanted to see that, so that is what I'm doing for you guys today. I have already filmed this, this was pre-recorded, but I had completely forgotten to even post this because I had stored it on my computer as a separate file. And long story short, I had completely forgotten I had this footage. But one of you guys asked me the other day, like, hey, you never posted that powder declutter. And I wanna know, so here it is. Here it is for you guys. If you wanna see me declutter my powders and my setting sprays, then just keep watching. So now that that's done, we can move on to the other disaster that is powders and face mists. Okay, so there are spaces you can't see back here, but I'll pull things out. So I have the Bare Minerals Original Foundation, and I just recently got it in this really big packaging because I really liked it and I thought it was cute. So I am gonna go ahead and keep this, but I am gonna get rid of it in this mini version. <gasps> but what if I wanna travel with it? No, 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 I'm not, I'm not, I'm not gonna wanna travel with it. I'm gonna get rid of the little guy, keep the big guy. Yes. The Girlactic Face Glow in Natural is actually one of my favorite products. But to me, it's more of a natural highlighter. It kind of resembles the Hourglass uh, finishing powders where it is noticeably glowy. There is a definite sheen to this. So, I mean, I use it all the time. I'm gonna hold on to it because I really, really like it. I also really like the Wet n Wild pressed powder. I just think it's a nice sheer everyday powder. It reminds me of the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish, actually. So I'm going to keep it. The Milk Makeup Blur and Set Matte Loose Setting Powder. Have I used this? I feel like I haven't used it enough to say. I'm gonna hang on to it, but I'm only gonna keep the translucent one. I don't really need this one. I'm gonna hang on to it for now, but I'm gonna get rid of this damn Flower Beauty Powder. Even though it's nice, it's so freaking big. And I, yeah, no. I have two powders from Lancome. These are the Absolute powders. I know Jacqueline Hill loves these, so I purchased them based off of her recommendation, and I do really like it. To me, it's more of a highlighter, though. It's glowy. It's glowy. I wouldn't necessarily use this on my entire face, but I do really like how finely milled it is. And this one in the shade Ecru Light is actually not as glowy as Absolute Peach. <laughs> this one has a definite sheen to it. Like, it has a noticeable glow on the skin. This one is a little bit more natural. Even though it looks, like, dark in the jar, it comes off a little bit lighter on the skin so I'm gonna hang on to both of them for now because I do really really like them I'm also gonna keep these two powders I love them this is the Glossier Wouter it gives me such a nice smooth flawless finish to the skin and I love the Beauty Bakery flower powder because this is like for your glamour days it makes my under eyes look perfect super super smooth and just like glamorous so whenever I go out and I want my makeup to be amazing the entire day and I don't want any flashback this is the powder I go for of course I'm keeping the Thrive Cosmetics powder it's my favorite freaking powder but I am gonna go ahead and pass the LC powder along I just feel like it is a little bit bulky and I don't know it's not something that I'm crazy dying over so I feel like I'm gonna pass that I love the Becca Hydra Mist set and refresh powder it's just so unique and innovative and it's one of those products that is just so so freaking cool and I just love using this on my skin especially on those really hot days it just makes your face feel cold and wet it's just so cool so I'm gonna hang on to that and I'm also gonna hang on to this Milani radiant powder I find it to be very similar to the I find it to be really similar to the Lancome one so I want to test them out side by side and see if they're dupes this powder although it's really nice it's too glowy for me. Like, it's it's way too glowy for me. This is the Laura Mercier Translucent Loose Setting Powder in Glow. So, I mean, obviously it's called Glow. But it's not glowy in the way the Lancome powder is. I think the Lancome one is a lot nicer. It's a little bit more finely milled. This one is, like, glow. <laughs> like, there will be little shimmer flecks all over your face when you use this. Like, noticeable shimmer flecks. So, I don't really love it. I'm gonna pass that on. This is the Smashbox Halo Hydrating Perfecting Powder. One of my subscribers recommended this to me and I haven't even tried it out yet. I purchased it based off of your recommendation and I still haven't tried it. So I'm gonna hang on to that. I'm gonna hang on to the All Nighter Setting Powder from Urban Decay because it's waterproof and it's always nice to have one of these handy and I actually think it works. I'm also gonna keep the ColourPop No Filter Setting Powder. I find it to be so similar to the Laura Mercier. Where is it? The Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. Um, and you know what? I don't need both of these. And the only reason I was hanging on to this one is because I like to use it for travel. But I can just travel with my ColourPop one. So yeah. I'm gonna hang on to that 
and I'm gonna pass this along. The Cover FX Perfect Setting Powder. Oh, this is a toughie. I really, really love this powder. No, but you know what? I like my Thrive Cosmetics one a little bit more. I do. Oh my gosh, I cannot. Oh my gosh, I can't believe I'm getting rid of that. Who am I? I like the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Powder, but it smells like farts. And you know what? Um, I don't know if that's worth it to me. I just... <laughs> the scent is too much. I do love the glow it gives my skin, honestly, but I feel like I can get that vibe and that look with my Hourglass Finishing Powders. So I'm just gonna pass that along. Oh, this is a mini of the Hourglass Veil Translucent Setting Powder. I have my big one, but I'm pretty sure I lent it to Jessie and I have to text her. But it's okay, because I have my little baby on deck ready to go. This is the Bare Minerals Blemish Rescue Sclint, Sclint, Sclint Clearing, Skin Clearing Loose Powder Foundation. This is really nice, but I just prefer the original Bare Minerals one and I don't know, you know, uh, uh. I'm gonna get rid of that. I love the loose finishing powder from the Maybelline Fit Me line. It's so, so nice and it's drugstore. I'm gonna hang on to that. And this is such a nice brightening powder from KKW. This is the worst packaging to ever exist, but this makes your under eyes just look so bright and awake and sometimes I need that, so I'm keeping that. Although I like the ColourPop No Filter Setting Powder, it's not something that I'm like, oh my gosh, I cannot live without that. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of that. I live and breathe for Hourglass. I really do. One of my favorite brands of all time. These are one of their ambient lighting powders. This is Radiant Light and this is Luminous Light. I like to use this one in the summertime and this one more in the winter. Depending on my skin tone, I'm gonna keep both of them. I love them. This is the Kat Von D Locket powder that I really love. This makes my skin look Poreless. I do like the Thrive Cosmetics one more. That one really does make me look super poreless, but this is in a pressed version and whenever I'm on the go or traveling, I prefer something pressed. And then I'm also gonna hang on to the uh, Prep Set and Glow Illuminating Transparent Powder because I think it's a really nice pressed powder that gives you nice luminosity. I'm keeping my Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Compact because it's a powder foundation that actually looks really nice on the skin. It doesn't make you look too matte or too dry. I'm gonna hold on to the Catrice Prime and Fine Mattifying Powder just in case, oh, I just dug my nail in there. Just in case I wanna use this for like a future waterproof video or something. Even though I really like this Cover FX Perfect Press Powder, I don't really use it that often. So I am gonna go ahead and, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of this. Replace this space with my what I want. This is so dumb. This is a super expensive Tom Ford powder. It's an illuminating powder. Even though this feels so freaking creamy, I honestly have never felt a powder this creamy in my life. I don't feel like it makes my skin look illuminating. It kind of makes my skin look dry, actually. Um, I love the texture, but overall it doesn't give me a super nice finish, so I'm gonna pass that along. I like the Fenty Beauty powder because it's a white translucent powder, and it really is very, very translucent on the skin. And I like that it has a mirror, and sometimes I take this with me when I travel. I'm also gonna hang on to the Catrice HD Multi Talent Powder. I think it's such a nice powder. It makes the skin look good, but I am gonna get rid of my Too Faced Cocoa Powder Foundation. I never, I never, ever, ever, ever use this. Oh my gosh, I love, oh, this is a Girlactic Highlight. I don't know why I have it there. But this is another Girl Lactic face powder that I'm obsessed with. This is the Luminous Face Powder in the shade Fair. This is different from the Face Glow in Natural. This is a face powder and this is a face glow. This is the most beautiful, most luminous face powder in the world. Because it's not super shiny like this, but there is a glow to it. I don't know how to explain it. And just like buffed on the skin, it's so beautiful and it gives you nice coverage while adding that JLo-esque vibe to the skin. I love it. And then I I have the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish Micro Powder. I have the shade Fair and Medium. I'm gonna get rid of Medium because it's broken and it actually doesn't close. And I'm gonna hang on to Fair. It's such a finely milled powder, which is why I got rid of the Cover FX one. I find that this one does a very similar job, but even better. <laughs> Makes my skin look so smooth. Oh, I can't forget my RCMA No Color Powder. This is amazing. Of course, I'm gonna hang on to that. Let's see how much of these face mists I can get rid of. I'm gonna hang on to the Primer Water. This is from Smashbox. I think it's really good. It makes the skin feel really nice before makeup. I am obsessed with these Catrice setting sprays. They are so affordable and so freaking good. The dewy one is the best. It gives your skin a beautiful sheen. Hang on to that. I have another one right here. I'm gonna keep the Urban Decay All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray because this is a small travel version and I like to take this with me on the go. I really love the Glam Glow Glow Setter. It makes my face smell really, really good. <laughs> like it has the best scent ever and it has an amazing, amazing fine mist. Love it. Love the Tatcha Lumis Dewy Skin Mist. 
super nice. I'm gonna get rid of the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Spray. Even though it's really nice, I never really use it. I also don't use the original All Nighter. I only use the travel one because I only use it to travel. This is another luminous dewy skin mist but in like really pretty packaging. So I got to keep that. I love the Milani Make It Last Setting Spray. This one used to be like my favorite. Keeping, of course, this is a backup. I don't really use this. One of you guys recommended this to me. I am gonna hang on to it because I really, I, I mean, look how much I've used. I haven't even given this a fair shot. So I'm gonna keep it and try it out a little bit more. I used to really love the Pixie Hydrating Milky Mist, but I don't even use it that much anymore. So I'm going to pass that along. The CoverFX Illuminating Setting Spray is awesome. I never use the Chill Setting Spray from Urban Decay. I'm gonna pass that along. I have to keep the MAC Fix Plus. This is like, one of those products you just can't ever get rid of and you always need in your collection. I'm also gonna keep the Lila B A Glow Face Mist. It's just like the Tatcha one, so I mean, I could get rid of it, but that's expensive, so I should hold on to it. And I'm also gonna get rid of the Essence Keep It Perfect Makeup Fixing Spray because I just, I never really use it and I love the Catrice one a lot more. And then I have my Morphe Continuous Setting Mist on my vanity at all times because to be, on to be honest, I can get rid of all of this. Oh my gosh, have you guys been looking at my weird little toes here in the corner? I'm sorry. I can get rid of all of these setting sprays and just use my Morphe one for the rest of my life because it's my favorite, but you know, you know, I gotta keep, I gotta keep other things on reserve. Oh my gosh, guys, this looks a lot nicer, don't you think? A lot more organized. I feel like we got rid of a lot. I am so proud of us. Look at us. Look what we did. Oh my gosh, these are all the things we got rid of today. Not bad, not bad. I mean, I definitely could have done better, but this is a start. I'm gonna get rid of all the things that are expired and the things that are not expired, I'm gonna let my friends look through. So yay, we did it. Okay guys, so that completes this video. I hope you enjoyed me going through all of my powders and my setting sprays. I almost fell off my chair when I went this way. I've had a lot of coffee today, I've had a lot of coffee today. But anyway guys, that completes this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I love you so, so much. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you in my next video. Bye.